Hello, my name is David Ott, and this is my 15112 Spring 2016 term project. For my project, I made a game using Python and the modules TK Enter, Math, and Random. Got a super stylish home screen with a looping scrolling background. Towards the top, we have our game selection. You can pick a scroller with Tetris, a scroller with Pong, or a scroller with Tetris and Pong. You select a difficulty, difficulties one through five, and we have an instruction screen. On our instruction screen, you can see a bunch of information about the game, how you play, a little bit about the different pieces that exist in the game. You have these cute little clouds scrolling across the screen. We can go back to the home screen. All right, let's pick side scroller with a difficulty of one. Start out nice, boring, and easy. Immediately, you're thrust into the world of our skateboarding character. We have a bunch of auto-generated brick obstacles. You can move right, you can move left, you can jump, you can interact with the obstacles as you might expect. Bounce off the left, bounce off the right. Uh, you can jump, you can land on it, you can jump off of them. The little frowny face spooky ghost guys running around are the enemies. You can send them back to their shadow realm by jumping on top of them, and you earn 10 points. You can see the score represented in the bottom left. This is your boring standard side scroll. It's fast forward until the star. The star is the goal. has a nice happy face. You collect it. You get some points, and we see the win screen. We get some nice happy party balloons. You get your score. Let's press space, and let's do something a little bit more interesting. Let's select Tetris now and hit play. So now we're playing and you can see the Tetris piece is falling. Right now they're actually being controlled semi-randomly. We can press the W key to switch our control to Tetris. You can notice that the background changes to pink to signify the change of control. And we can move and direct the piece and put it down. Once it hits the ground, it's a stationary piece. You can interact with it. So now let's pick Pong. Now the Pong is added to our side scroller. The Pong ball interacts with the randomly generated obstacles. You can hit the E key to switch to Pong control. You control the paddle on the right. Now let's do something even more fun. Let's pick side scroller, Tetris, and Pong. Now we have our normal side scroller world, but this time Pong is happening and Tetris is happening. So both are being controlled by AI when not being directly controlled by the player. The player can switch to control Tetris or Pong. The background color indicates the change. There are a couple ways you can lose lives in this game. If you fall off the left edge of the screen, if you hit a falling Tetris piece, if you come into contact with the Pong ball, if you come into contact with an enemy that you're not landing on top of, once you lose all three lives, it is game over, and you will see the game over screen.